We want to go to the Lord in prayer. And while we're praying, we can pray for Brother Rhodes. Amen. That the Lord would give him speedy recovery. Amen. We want to pray for all those that are sick. Amen. Those that need God. We want to pray for them. Praise God. We want to believe God to have his way here tonight in this house. We want the Lord to help us. Amen. Speak to our hearts. Amen. Hopefully we leave here better than the way that we came. Praise God. Amen. If somebody's close to you, that you can reach over and grab their hand. Amen. Let's bind together and pray. Amen. For these situations. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, grateful to be in the presence of the Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for this privilege, this opportunity, God, to come before you and to be in the house of God. God, we want to move of the Holy Ghost. We don't want just another church service, God. I pray for a move of your spirit. Pray that you'd speak to each and every heart here today. Help us, God, to lead better because we've been in your presence and because we've heard the word of God. Pray, Lord, now for Brother Rhodes that you would touch him, Lord, that you would give him speedy recovery. Thank you, Lord, for a successful surgery. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for being the keeper, oh God, and the sustainer. We appreciate you, Lord, because you're good to us. Now, Father, we bind any spirit that seeks to oppose the will of God in this house. We want your perfect will to be done. God, as it is in heaven, so let it be here in this earth. We'll give you praise and we'll thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Would you give him a hand clap of praise? Amen. God bless you.
Praise God. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. How many know we serve a good God? Amen. God's a faithful God, and we're thankful for all that God does. Amen. Anybody expecting God to do great things? Amen. Amen. I'm expecting the Lord to do some great things. Amen. And of course, we appreciate the Word of God. Anybody looking forward to hearing the Word of the Lord tonight? Amen. Thank God for our bishop. Amen. The overseer, the pastor, the angel of the house. We give him honor. We're thankful, amen, that we have a man of God. And we're looking forward to hearing the word. Somebody say, I want to be changed. Amen. The word of God will change you if you put some faith in it. Amen. I believe in tonight God's going to help us. Amen. God bless. Would you lift your hands one more time? Surrender your spirit to the Lord. Open your heart and mind to the Holy Ghost and to the Word of God. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, we give you praise, God. We thank you. Amen. Let's worship it one more time.
Unfortunately, it is easy to look around and see the difficulties that surround us. Bills, work, challenges at home, health problems. They seem to be unending. Turn to your neighbor and say, that is In short, those daily issues can drive us to the point of wearing ourselves sick. You see, when we wake up in the morning, we have to deal with some issues. Hello? Yes, in short, we can wear ourselves sick, isn't that right? Worrying was at much 
an issue for the church in Corinth. And it is for us in the 21st century. We see, amen, in our country, amen, an election coming up. The people are worried about the election. It appears that each and every candidate is trying to give away something. Because each candidate knows that we're worried about something. Hmm. Paul's words to the Corinthians should be a light for us today. This word, the text that I read to you was a word to the Corinthian church. They were worried about life in itself. We can't help, amen, but to see things in the present. Hello. This word should be a light to us, showing us how to look beyond what we can see with our eyes to what awaits us in heaven. The adversary want to use these issues. But we got to get to a place in our walk with God to start looking beyond. Because God is looking beyond. He saw this church come into existence. Before we saw it. We only can deal with the present. But he was trying to encourage, amen, the Corinthian church to look beyond their circumstances. God is always working on our behalf. Our human eyes will often paint a different picture. We can only see what's right in front of us, like a bill. Okay. Hello. Hmm? Uh, oh, an issue with your health. Hello. Or family problems. Hello. Sorry. Sorry. We can only see with our eyes what is present. Yes. And we're going to have to deal with issues yes, that slip. Yes, Receiving the cancellation for your insurance. Hello. And you worry about getting some more insurance. We got to look beyond. I recall after I got my roof repaired, a brand new roof, because of a hailstorm. And I got in the mail. They want to insure my car, but they wouldn't insure, re-insure my house. Hmm. That was an issue. Right. But the only way yeah. that I could fix it was I had to look beyond. Now, are you catching this tonight? Yes. Yeah. Amen. I had to look beyond, and because I was able to look beyond. I got some better insurance. Amen. You know why? Because God was working. Yes. 
on my behalf. Will you clap your hands? Because you are on my behalf. But if we look at where we have come from, yes. events of our past, we can see God's hand, can't we? His hand guiding us through the everyday situation which require us to simply trust in him. Yes. Looking beyond. Yeah. We see the empty pews look beyond, folks. I need some folks to look beyond. Yes. Amen. Right. Hello. Yeah. It's the will of God for no man to perish, but all that come to repentance. Let me say, he, he didn't bring this church into existence. Amen. To have empty pews. But the only way they will be filled is we don't have to have to look beyond. Look beyond. This is Apostle Paul talking. You see, they're temporal things. Before the world saw the plan. Amen. Now, think about it. Look at what 
what God has done through man. It was an issue before. It's no longer an issue. Matter of fact, at once upon a time, it took about 20 hours to fly overseas. It was an issue. Now it takes 13 to 14 hours. The reason for this taking place, yeah. we had engineers looking beyond what they could see in the present. Looking beyond. It's important. Yeah. Looking beyond yeah. is very important. Yep. Don't let the issues that you're facing no. cause you to work. Look beyond what God has already done for you. Amen. What he's going to do for you in the very future. Amen. Praise God. Amen. The only thing that will last forever yeah. are the things we do and say. The way we interact yeah. with those around us and how we encourage and help and lead others to God's grace uh -huh. and his mercy. And all that we do for the glory of God. Yeah. Let my worries be replaced with faith in Jesus Christ. Yes. Amen. Yes. That's what we got to do. Deal with the issues of life. Replace it with faith in God. He's already made our life out of a testimony. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Our life is a testimony of what God has already done. And the reason our life is a testimony because he looked beyond. He looked beyond and he saw our needs before we even asked. And he's still looking beyond CJ. He knows exactly where you are. Yes. He knows you very again before you even get there. This is the hour for the church to wake up yeah. Yeah. and look beyond it. You'll never deal with getting a decent education if you don't look beyond it. Or even getting a better job if you don't look beyond Huh? Yeah. You don't have enough making hands me. You better start looking me up. Praise God. Amen. When you start looking beyond, ain't no telling what the Lord can do if you just simply wake up and look beyond what you're dealing with. Will you clap your hands up? Look beyond. Look beyond. This is what Apostle Paul was telling the Corinthian church. He was looking, telling them to look beyond for eternal life. Hello? Keep your eyes on the real prize. Look beyond this life. Yeah. That'll keep you in the church. Yeah. If you start looking beyond. 
and look at heaven. <laughs> look at heaven. Look at eternal life with the Lord. We've got to wake up and make up in our mind that we are going to look beyond all our issues. Amen. And focus our attention on the Lord Jesus Christ. Will you clap your hand under the Lord? Look beyond. Look beyond. Look beyond. Oh, yeah. Look beyond. My five years yeah. before I was ready to retire from the military. I was looking beyond. Sure, I had to do what's mission. Absolutely. That's life. But I was looking beyond where the Lord was going to place me. Hello? Yeah. Hello? I had to look beyond. And when I stopped looking beyond, I begin to see what the Lord wanted me to do. Only sometimes it's so stuck in that present. So stuck in our present. We got these thermometers up here. And we done filled up some. You know why? Simply look at the eye. Yes. Right. And these two are going to fill up. And the way they're going to fill up is people continue to look beyond. God already said, filled up to the top. Right. Yeah. But he needs some of us to start looking beyond. He already seen the church full to capacity. But it needs some folks to use your faith in God and look beyond. And stop focusing on the present, but look beyond. Will you stand? Hallelujah. Yeah. Looking beyond. Looking beyond. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. I've got four kids. When they were in the kindergarten, we were looking beyond for that future. We did a few things. One of the things because we look beyond, looking for the future. We got rid of our television. And not only did we get rid of the television, we loaded them up and took them to the library. And they got used to getting stacks of books. We were looking Beyond. And because we were looking beyond, all four got scholarships to cost the university. It's looking beyond. God knows our end. Stop looking at the present. Ain't no telling what God can do if we start looking beyond. Will you clap your hands on the Lord? Sister Patty, I want to use you for an example. She's been looking beyond for a long time for that old trailer she got parked out there. And guess what? She owned it. Yeah. Yeah. And don't have no payments. Yeah. Yep. Hello? Hallelujah. Yeah. She wasn't stuck on what she was seeing. You think about this. If you're going to do anything for God, you better start looking beyond the presence. You're going to have issues. 
for God is turned on to when we look beyond because he knows when we begin to look beyond something is going to take place will you clap your hands over there something is going to take place because he's working in our behalf praise God let me hear bell give some needs here tonight that's why my message changed because there's some needs here in the house for them. And the Lord has spoken to you. Stop focusing on the issues right now. And start focusing on Him and look beyond. This altar is open right now. I know the Lord spoke here tonight. He's going to help us. Come on, folks. Come on, man. Stop being stuck on what you see. Look beyond. Look beyond. Look beyond. Look beyond. Hallelujah. Look beyond. God want to do something for you. He's going to help you. Hallelujah. He's been faithful to you. I'm looking beyond. Hallelujah. What the Lord's going to do. Hallelujah. I'm looking beyond what I can see with my naked eye. I'm looking beyond what I can see with my naked eye. Come on, look beyond. Hallelujah. What the Lord's going to do. He's going to do some great things. He's fit to do some great things and we start looking beyond. Clap your hands to the Lord and shout it out to the Lord. I'm looking beyond. I believe. Hallelujah. God's going to do the miraculous. He's going to help us. Hallelujah. He's going to open the doors. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. Clap your hands to the Lord one more time. Shout it to the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm looking beyond. Shout that word. I'm looking beyond. Hallelujah. I'm looking beyond. Hallelujah. God has a plan. And he sees the very end. Thank you, Lord. Looking beyond. When a person comes to God, and repent of their sins. You get baptized. In Jesus' name, God fills it with the Holy Ghost. That's the day that you need to start looking beyond. Look beyond the present. You start looking beyond. Because God has a future for you. Praise God. Praise God. I hope something was said tonight to help us. Amen. Praise God. We'll dismiss in Jesus' name. Amen.